Good evening, hello. Ricardo, how are you doing? <clears throat> okay, my dear Nitos. Uh, it seems like we are four. The other people will be connecting soon. Okay, let's begin. Good evening, everyone. Today is class 15. Today is October the 22nd. And we're going to have the midterm review and practice. Welcome to your English class. This is the general objective. And the specific objectives. Okay, and this is the class objective. Today, we're going to begin with the warm up like this. But first, let's check who is present. Let's call the roll. Okay, tonight is. Uh, the 22nd of October, Anadelmi Carranza de Guzman, okay. Brian Odir Perez, Carlos Alberto Bautista, Danny Anthony Siwenza, Danny Sadalberto Fuentes, Good evening, teacher. Hey, good, e good evening, Alberto. I say, hey, nobody's, nobody's here today. Okay, I present, I ready for the class tonight. Excellent, my friend. Welcome on board. Um, Danny Sadalberto is not here with us, right? Eduardo Dolores Saraí. Present teacher. Excellent. Eduardo Ernesto Hernandez. Okay. Eunice Abigail Chavez. 
Guadalupe del Carmen López. Jacqueline Melissa Delgadillo. En la política de los nazis. Es un área interesante. Ignacio Franco. Velázquez. Hello, teacher. Listen. Norbert, right? Yes, Norbert. Excellent. Welcome on board, my friend. Karina Elizabeth Villeda. Muchas gracias. Present teacher. Karina. Yes. Yes. Welcome on board, Karina. Okay. Marvin Alexander Bonilla. Not here. Miriam Clarkovo. Moisés Eduardo Rivas. Son Iván Hernández. Iliana Gómez. Present, teacher. Pedrina. Okay. Present. René Osvaldo Bonilla. And Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Present. Teacher, Marvin Bonilla, present. I'm here right now. Welcome on board, my friend. Claudia Loren Enriquez, Marvin Alexander López, Rudy Josué Flores. Present teacher, I'm here. Good evening. Good evening. Excellent. And Victor Quintanilla. Okay. Now, my friends, let's begin. Present teacher, Guadalupe. Yes, Guadalupe. I saw you. I saw you. Good evening. Welcome on board. Good evening. <clears throat> Excellent. That's nice. Um, well, discuss the following topics. What topics have we studied this week? Do you remember? Some of the topics that we studied, we began with... Um, The topic of the week is will, will be better. Yes, we studied with sequencers, right? Sequencers, yes. Yes, okay. So we have the sequencers, yeah, that's right, sequence. Okay, and we had other verbs of transition too, okay. Uh, but the adverbs of transition are the same. So what else do we start? Making suggestions. Making suggestions with the need be better, right? Would the need be better? What else did we study? Vocabulary. And also organizing a checklist, the organization of a checklist that okay. What else do you remember that we studied? Can I say, would you be better uh, uh, when I have a other idea for the este, for, 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 for the plane or, the, or, or algún plan? I can say, 
uh, will, will you be better in I use and o sea, puedo usarlo, ya, ya sé cómo usarlo. Excellent. Yes. Would it need be better mm -hmm. if you consider that your idea is better? Would it need be better if we did this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, excellent. That's nice. Okay. Let us see. Teacher, teacher, I know, for example, sorry. I know, okay. I know use, will, will you be better? And difference the I better. You uh -huh. uh, had better. I explain. Yes, I, yes, yes. Este, usted lo explicó aquel día, the, the different, the, will you be better and use I better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Uh -huh. would, would a need be better versus had better? I'd better do this, I'd better do the other. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're going to do one activity. Uh, we're going to complete this with the sequence that we consider should be. Okay, what's the first one and what's the last one that we normally write? Okay, yes, my dear ones. What's the first? Yeah. First, right? First. And then what's the last one? Number six, finally. Finally, okay. Um, so first, finally. Uh, three, three is, no, two second. Uh -huh. I, get up, I get up my bed. So what, what do we use? Uh -huh. What can we say instead of using second? After that. After that, okay. And then what do we use? Then. Then. I told you. <laughs> okay. All right. In number four, what can we write? Next. Later. 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 Uh -huh. Let's use it later, okay. So we have the sequence. First, I wake up. After that, I get up. Then I take a shower. Next, I put on the other end. Later, I get dressed. Finally, I go to work. Okay, so this could be an idea, okay. Let's see. Let's move to the next one, vocabulary. I want you to look at the vocabulary here. We have poultry, poultry, shellfish, utensil, recipe, season, leadership, call out, walking cooler, Rush hour, ethos, station, and shift. Again, poultry, shellfish, utensil, recipe, season, leadership, call out, walking cooler, rush hour, ethos, station. Shift. Okay. What do we use in the first one? Who wants to read the first one? Poultry. What is poultry? Rudy, would you please read that one? Sure. Birds, sauce. Such as chickens that are bred for their eggs and meat. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Poultry are birds that people 
eat. Examples, turkey, chicken, duck, partridge, okay. Let's see, shellfish. Who wants to read self? She no, not selfish, but shellfish. Uh huh. Sand, clear to them. Uh huh. As living fish shells um, are eaten as food. <clears throat> Excellent. Uh huh. Yes, very good. Seashells. Okay, maybe we can have something like. Um, Shell. Mm -hmm. Maybe something like this. The shelf. <laughs> I can go to Liberty Beach or yeah. eat shells. Exactly. A delicious food. Delicious seafood. Yes, very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, my friends. What about utensil? Who would like to read utensil? Me, teacher. Yes, please. Go ahead. A tool with a particular use, especially in a kitchen or house. Okay, excellent. That's wonderful. Okay, that is a utensil. Okay. For example, uh, for example, hammer. For <laughs> yeah, for ha my home. hammer is more more than a tool, but yes, a utensil could be more like a fork, a knife or containers like frying pans. Spoon. Mm -hmm. Pan. Okay, yeah, that's right. Something like that. What about recipe? Who like to read recipe? Recipe, recipe. Me. Yes. Recipe, recipe as a set of instruction telling you how to prepare and cook food, including a list of what food is needed for this. Perfect, Kari, thank you very much. Okay, season, but this as a verb, no season, uh, spring, season. fall and winter, no. To season, mm. what is that? One volunteer? Okay. Uh, to improve. Sorry, this is what? Which one? Season. Call, call Woods. Okay, this one. Season. Uh, uh, to improve the Imp flower. Uh huh. The flower. The savory food. Savory food. Uh, of savory, savory food, food, uh, savory, savory food by adding salt, salt, uh, herbs, uh, herbs, herbs, mm -hmm. herbs uh, or spice, or spice, when cooked, mm -hmm. when, when cooking, uh, or preparing, or prepa it. preparing. It. It, it. Preparing it. Excellent. Very good. It's preparing it mm -hmm. to improve the flavor of savory food by adding salt, herbs, or spices when cooking or preparing it. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you very much. Leaders who like to read leadership. The person or people in charge of an organization. For example, my boss is a leadership in my team. Yes, he's part of the leadership of the team. Exactly. Excellent. Very good. How about call-outs? Call-outs. Call-outs. 
Summon into action. Okay, summon into action. Okay. Summon into action. Who likes to read summon into action? I, I already said right, so many books. Okay. So, walking cooler. Who would like to read walking cooler? Yes, whether you may. Hey, Space. Mm -hmm. Space refrigeration. Yes. Uh, to temperature. Temperature. Temperatures. Uh, respective. <laughs> above and at or below. <clears throat> three twenty two uh, degree Fahrenheit. Uh, Fahrenheit. That's kind thing. Be walking into. I can be walked into. Okay. Yes, that's right. Thank you. And in closed store, I mean, in closed storage, storage right? to temperature respectively above and or at 32 degrees Fahrenheit, I can be walked into. Okay, okay. What about Russia? A time during each day when traffic is at its heaviest. Mm -hmm, exactly. When traffic is at its heaviest. Heaviest. Uh -huh. Heaviest. Very good. Correct. Ethos. Who, who wants to read ethos? Yes, what are looking at? Ethos. Ethos. The set of values. Beliefs. Ideas. Believe, Believe, ideas, etc., about social behavior Behave. and rela relationships. 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 Relationships of a person or group. Okay. Okie dokie. Thank you. That is if. Okay. How about station? Me, teacher. Yes, please. Go ahead. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> a building or place used use for a particular service or type of work. Excellent. Very good. Thanks. Shift. Who like to do shift? Mm, Chic teacher. Yes, please. A group of worker will do a job for period of time during the days or night. Uh -huh. Exactly. That is a shift. A group of workers will do a job for a period of time during the day or night, or the period of time itself. Some people work the night shift or the morning shift or the afternoon shift. That period of time is called shift. Mm -hmm. Okay. Questions? Questions about the vocabulary? Maybe from here or from here. So it could be like here or here, no problem. No questions? Teacher, what is the meaning of the call, call out, out? Call out is uh, when you tell the people to move, to work, okay, call out. But you can also call out people's names. Like, for example, in the kitchen, there are callouts. Like, um, people place orders and they pass the orders to the, to the chef. And 
the chef has to organize the food. So they call them out, they say them out loud. They don't say, okay, fried chicken. No, the fried chicken, right? So they call them out, they say it loudly. They, well, they shout, they shout it. So that is a call out. Just call out my name, and you know that wherever you are, I come running. Yeah. Out my name, Rudy, come here, and then Rudy will be there. He says, "Guadalupe, come here," and then that is call out. Okay, call out. Get the idea? What is a call out? Yes. 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 Thank you. Any other question? Okay. Well, if there are no more questions, let's continue. Okay. Let's get to this is what you have to do. Do you have a dictionary? Use a dictionary to find the meaning of the word dispenser, dirt, dispenser, sink, and thoroughly. Thoroughly, sink, designate, and dispenser, okay? I'm going to give you, what? Three minutes? Think that three minutes is okay to find the word. Yes, three minutes. Okay, teacher. Only, only traduce. Uh, no. Similar, similar to the example here. Oh, okay. Similar to the example. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Spanish, but similar to the definition. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Yes, no problem. Three minutes. Don Ignacio's drive. Yes, yeah, drive carefully, Don Ignacio. Don't worry.
Okay, my dear ones, what do you have for number one? Uh, me, teacher. Yes, please. Uh, now, uh, automatic machine or container which is designed to release a specific amount of something. Okay. Uh -huh. Repeat. An automatic. It's very on white. <laughs> okay. Color it. Let me see. Let me change the color. Green. An automatic. An automatic machine. Uh, so I'm going to be shorter. An automatic machine, uh, which is designed. Designed to release uh, a specific amount of something. That's it. That's it. Excellent. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay. Maybe make it smaller. Okay. What about dirt? Who has dirt? No, I mean, no, who has dirt? But who has the word dirt? <laughs> I have dust, soil, or any substance that makes a surface not clean. That makes a surface not clean. Okay, there we go. Does oil or any substance that makes a surface not clean. Okay, there we go. Thank you. What about designate? What do you use for designating? Teacher. Tell me, tell me, Albert. Go ahead. The signal, the signal is a people. Uh, a person who has who has assigned who has been assigned uh -huh. assigned a task to a task okay okay this later the person has been assigned a task so without two mm -hmm. yeah okay excellent very good thank you what about sink? Good job. Nice, 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 very nice. Okay. And then, well, what else? Sink. Somebody investigate a sink. What do you have? Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Maybe Rudy would like to help us with that one. Yes, yes, yes. I have it, but I like the other customer participate too. <laughs> so, yeah, I have it. Good idea. Go down. <clears throat> Go down. Go down below the surface. surface. Okay, go down the face of, uh -huh, of something, especially of a liquid. Okay. Something, especially of a liquid. Okay. Yeah, this is one meaning. What's another meaning? A, a place where you wash your hands or a place where you wash the dishes, right? A place where you wash your dish, the dishes is the sink also. Okay, what about thoroughly? Who has the, the definition for thoroughly? I found out is something that is done completely, carefully mm -hmm. about detail. Yeah. Okay, something that is done completely. Thoroughly means completely. Mm -hmm. Excellent. All right, this is, this is the vocabulary. Okay, the purpose is to build vocabulary. Now let's continue. Checklist. Teacher, why the vocabulary? Okay, because of this. This is, the kitchen procedure checklist. Kitchen procedure checklist. This is an example. Okay. <clears throat> okay, when they are someone, let's say, is evaluating somebody else, maybe someone in training, they say, knows a specific portion weight, in sizes and the person puts a check on yes or no right properly cuts portions okay meats right sorry here's no portions proportions meat or cuts or proportions okay or here we put check properly cuts proportions of stakes. Then you say, and we put a check. Properly cuts proportions of poultry. You remember? Birds, chicken, dogs, turkey, etc. Properly cuts proportions, fish. What do we have? Yes, fish. Poultry, okay. Properly cuts pro, uh, proportions of shellfish. Imagine that the person cannot, you put here, no, cannot. Properly cuts proportions, vegetables. You say yes. Demonstrates proper knife skills. You say no. Nose equipment, utensils, plates, etc., all needed for service. And you say yes. Properly preps, preps is prepares. Properly prep station for service. We say yes. Properly demonstrates how to prepare each recipe. And we say, Yes, properly prepares each dish during service. So we say, yes, works under pressure. Tastes and properly seasons food. 
we say that if he prepares the recipes well, he tastes and properly seasons the food, right? Teacher seasons, adds salt, herbs, the cubito and, okay, the sopa nor, <laughs> okay, sopa magi, and I don't know. <laughs> okay, so that would be, put a check, okay? Then properly plates it, each dish during service means for fish, this plate, for chicken, this one, for steak, this other one. So properly plates each dish during service. We say, yes, properly communicates with kitchen leadership. You say, no, his voice is very soft. So you say, oh, okay. Properly communicates with kitchen team. Call outs, for example. You say, no, his voice is too soft. When you say properly communicates with servers, we say yes, because he goes and talks to them. Cooks meat, steaks to desired, correct temperatures. And you say yes. Cook seafood to desire correct temperature. We say yes. Properly maintains walking cooler or freezer areas. And you say yes. Maintains expected speed of service during rush hour. And you say yes. Maintains expected quality during rush hour. And we say, yes, knows and understands your ethos of service. And you say, yes, properly close a station at the end of shift. Yes, okay, so based on this, do you hire the, the cook or the chef? Yes, because this is communication. He will learn. There are two things here, the proportions of shellfish, but this is, you don't need, you don't sell that, no problem. Knife skills, oh, is important, but he can learn, okay? So this is, this is an example of a checklist, an example of a checklist. Do you have a question about any of this? No questions? Sorry about the document. I sent you the document a few minutes ago. I, in my, okay. I thought that I had sent it, but I don't know what group I sent it to. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have a question, teacher. Tell me. When do you use, when do you use prep? You can use it the same way as a preparation. Yes, properly prepares, properly preps. Okay. Of service. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Please. Preps or prepares. Yes. Okay. Well, then let's continue. Now let's do this one. Are procedures posters displayed in some areas in your workplace? Look at the checklist below designed to verify the steps of a hand washing procedure. Do you think the checklist is effective to evaluate the procedure? Why, why not? Who wants to read the steps?
Me teacher. Thank Watch you. his hands using soap from soap dispenser. Narcu uses brush to remove dirt from under fingers name. Number three, uses soap between fingers and on hand. Uh, how do you pronounce thoroughly? Thoroughly. 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 Okay. Thoroughly. okay, thank you. Watch his hand and in things from production area. Yeah. Dry his hands with a mechanical hot dryer. Okay, thank you very much. Now, you see? Washes using soap. Brushes, okay. Brushes, right? Brushes to remove dirt from under nails, okay. Uses soap. Uses soap between the fingers, okay. Washes hands. In sink, sink of the production area. Dries hand in a mechanical hot dryer, one that is blowing air, right? You put the hands. Crive. A proper hand washing procedure. Or does it need uh, another? What do you think? Is it complete? Is it complete or does it need another step? We can say it's complete, right? It's complete. Okay, excellent. Let's see. Let us imagine that you want to create another one for entering, entering the building. Okay. For entering the building. Okay, say like, um, what are the steps for entering the building? Like sanitize your shoes. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Sanitize your your feet. Sanitize your feet. Use the foot bath. Foot bath okay. are the ones that people use as pedilubios, right? Pedilubios are foot bath. In Spanish, you call them pediluvios. Pedi for feet, luvio for wash. Pediluvio, okay. And uh, it's foot wash in English. So, number one, use the foot, wa foot bath uh, to sanitize your feet. Number two, what else? Apply alcohol. I apply alcohol, alcohol gel. Mm -hmm. Alcohol gel. What else? Uh, take the temperature. Take the temperature. Mm -hmm. What else? What? What else? Uh, use, use the mask. Yes. Put on the face mask. Mm -hmm. the face mask. Uh, Clean, clean your feet or sanitize your feet in the foot bath. Uh, apply alcohol gel. 
uh, take the temperature. Is that enough? Uh, teacher, keep distance include. Keep the distance, right? Keep your distance. So let's put them here. Mm. Wear a face mask. Okay. Um, Sanitize. Sanitize your feet. Sanitize your feet uh, in the foot. Okay. What else? Apply. Alcohol. Mm. Take the temperature. Take the temperature. And keep the distance. Okay, keep your distance. Let's say your distance better to make it more personalized. Keep your distance. Okay, there are two things that we need here. Capital letters. So we use where? Sanitize. Apply. Take. Keep. And a period at the end, right? Period. Probably there's no period in the food bath because of the space, but let's see. Maybe like this. Okay. Wear face masks, sanitize your feet in the food, food bath, apply alcohol gel, take the temperature, keep your distance. Okay. Uh, does this checklist, that this checklist uh, measure the procedure of, uh, let's say, entering the building safely? Yes, right? Yes. Okie dokie. Very good. Now, my dear ones, let's continue. Okay. Before we continue with the next one, uh, I'm going to call the roll. Call roll again. Anadelmi Carranza de Present teacher. Excellent. Brian Perez. Carlos Alberto Bautista. Present teacher. Excellent. Welcome on board. Danny Anthony Siguenza. Okay, Danis Adalberto Fuentes. Okay, Dolores Saraí Molina. Present teacher. Excellent. Eduardo Ernesto Present. Yes, very good. Welcome on board. Eunice Abigail Chavez Garcia. No, right, this lady. No more. Lupe de Carmen Lopez Flores. Present teacher. Excellent. Jacqueline Melissa Delgadillo. Okay. No, Jackie tonight. Okay. Jose Ignacio Franco. Uh, present teacher. Excellent. Nice. 
José Norberto Velázquez. Present teacher. Excellent, my friend. Very good. Thank you. Yes. Karina Elizabeth Villeda. Present teacher. Yes, Cari. Nice. Very good. Marvin Alexander Bonilla. Present teacher. I'm here. Excellent. Good, my friend. Welcome on board. Miriam Claribel Jacobo. I am here, teacher. Okay, welcome on board, my friend. Welcome on board. Thanks, thanks a lot. Yes, you're welcome. Moises Eduardo Rivas. Moises Eduardo Rivas, no. Okay, Nelson Ivan Hernandez. No, not here yet. Pedrina Iliana Gomez. Teacher, present teacher. Excellent, my friend. Excellent. Osvaldo Bonilla. Present, present. Excellent, my friend. Welcome on board. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Present teacher. Very good. That's nice. Okay. Ruth. Rudy Josué Flores. Present. Yes. <laughs> the other people like Claudia, Lorena, and Marvin, Alexander Lopez. Okay. Why? Well, don't know. Okay. All right, my friends, let's continue. Now we continue with the task. Okay, these are the topics uh, for which you are supposed to make a checklist. Okay. In pairs, use the evaluation checklist above this one. And maybe this one. Okay. Uh, what? As a model to create one of your own to evaluate a process you follow at your workplace. Okay, these are some topics. Setting a table, decanting wine, requesting a shift change, following the schedule, addressing kitchen personnel, getting to know the menu, dress code, addressing customers, about tips and taxes, prevent, prevention of accidents and safety. But at your job, I remember that somebody told me, teacher, I am an accountant. So how do you keep your books? This can be how you keep your books can be an idea, right? Bookkeeping. Okay, how you have the control of the income and the expenses, for example. What other topic do you think could be important? Ideas, my friends? What other topics? Okay, Rudy is a teacher, right? And uh, a very good teacher, I know. Very good teacher. So, uh, Maybe evaluating his student. Maybe it could be evaluating his students, right? That could be the, the topic, maybe an idea. Uh, since you have progressive evaluation co or continual evaluation, and of course, formative that is the same or, or the one that you keep in the books, right? So, okay. So then you may think about evaluations. Okay, what other topic? If you are in, on sales, maybe how to record your sales. in order to report, record your sales and report them, probably, okay? So this is an idea, 
these are some of the topics. Page 15, okay. We're going to go to the groups. Right now we're going to go to the groups and you are going to be working with a partner. Uh, your partner will help you create your checklist and you can help your partner create his or her checklist. After you finish, we will share them in class. The checklist don't have to be extensive. They don't have to have uh, 20 items. Like the example that I gave you of this one that doesn't have 20, has 24, 24 items. No, 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 not necessarily. This one has six, five, look, five. And this one has five. So five is enough. How many do you have to do? You have to create two checklists, two checklists. Okay. Two checklists that you will report. So approximately 10 items. Checklist number one, Topic. the topic is this, checklist number one. Topic number two, checklist is this, okay? Per person, per person. If we are three people in the group, how many checklists do we have to create? Six, but if two people have this, I mean, one is repeated, they are not like six, they, are, they can be five or they can be four, right? No problem, you can have some repeated, but the best is that you use two different per person, okay? Let's go to the groups. Okay, I repeat the instructions. I repeat the, repeat the instructions. I'm going to write it here. Design two checklists. of the procedures okay now we say checklist to evaluate the procedures yeah, here is like to evaluate the procedures you follow at work, okay? How many checklists? Two per people. Two per, two per person, right? Two checklists per person about what the procedures you follow at work. Let us imagine you say, teacher, I prefer, I prefer to use these topics. Okay, it's all right. No problem, you may choose from here. It's okay. From the ones at work or from here. Let's be flexible in that. Is your decision. Okay, let's begin. Okay, let's create. We are 19, so I'm going to make five groups. I would say six groups, three. But the thing is that sometimes not all the people participate. Let me see, let's, let's try with five. See what happens. Five groups, the groups are creating, are being created.
Okay, it takes a little longer than, but they will. Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay, don't, yes. Don't Norbert. Okay, yes. Okay. Uh, alcohol, alcohol, gel. Uh, checking. Ay, no, ni pongas eso que me voy a dormir. Ay, <risa> 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 hey, qué mala onda va. <risa> Estoy regañando a mi hermana. <risa> I'm sorry, teacher. <laughs> worry, my friend. It's okay. It happens. <laughs> in another example, in the case of example for my job, I need to check the the when I attended attended the the customer. I need to check his the documents. Then I need to write the the report and send and, and send and send for the report for the the insurance company. And before then, I need to put the cost in. I need to put the cost in the 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 computer system. And then I need to check. Uh, need to check my my report before send the co the customer company. Okay, you, then maybe you can write it, and if you put all of the steps that you have mentioned regarding the report that you have to make, maybe this can constitute a checklist. Yeah. Checklist is step by step. Checklist is the important elements, the important elements that must be present in a procedure, right? The principal steps are important. Yeah. yeah, for example, in, in, in my work, I have the checklist when I attended the, the customer. The first step is the, the, the meaning, el, el saludo. The meaning, uh, for example, I, my name is uh, Rene Bonilla and I, 
I, I, I can help you. I stay here if and I will help you. That is the, the first is, is uh, the first thing I I need to check in my in my list in my checklist. Then I please give me your give me your your document and I write the the information uh, uh, in my in my in my report. In your report, you have to write that. Okay. Yeah. Then, then I go to I. I go to my my office and write write the report in in the computer and check the the for example, in for example my in my case my work is I check the accident card. And I put the I put in my in my in my info in my report or put in my report I put the damage 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 of the car for example uh, I don't know how do you say capo. Hood, the hood. Good. H O O D. Yeah. Hood. Good. And put the hook. Good. Hook. Hood. 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 Like rubbing. Hood. Rubbing. Uh, hood. 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 Mm -hmm. hood. Then, then I put the 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 picture and the picture and. Uh, in my report, and I write the all information about my customer, and then I check the, my my report and send and send the company. I, ese es como nuestro checklist que todos los días hacemos. Excellent. So all you need to do is. In, when you get out of the group, you report it that way. If you could write it to have easy access to it, well, that would be much better. Okay. Nice, very good. Continue, my dear ones. So, how to use a machine? A machine. Industrial machine. Machine. Of security. No, porque form es formulario, forma. Yes, form is formulario, uh -huh. form. Como, como, how to translate? Como usar una máquina de forma segura? How to use a machine of... Use a, ma a machine safely. How safely. A machine safely. 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 Mm -hmm. Safely. Safely, yes. Um, ahí está. How to use a machine of safely? How to use a machine safely. A machine safely. How to use a machine safely. Okay. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome, my friend. Hey, first, uh, remove all objects 
that don't use for this work. Remove, digo, Carlos, remove. All objects object that don't use to work. Este es first one, first. Okay. After that, after that, check the switch. Tell me. For example, your routine when you arrive to work. Uh, following the schedule, uh, for example, um, Mm. For example, uh, the um, check-in time. Check on time. In my in my company. Number two, it's con con um, pictures for um, for approval. Uh -huh. Approva. Teacher, how do you spell approbación in English? Approbación in English. Approval. Approval. Oh. A P P A P P R double P right A P P uh, okay 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 B B or B B okay approval okay. okay. excellent thank you thank you teacher yes thank you for approval okay adequate camera use what else Guadalupe uh the resolution the 
the resolution is important. Uh, yes. The, the, the topic is we are sending a picture to the manager to approve the like the design mm -hmm. yes. of a church. The the resolution is mm. oh maybe you you can say eight hundred by six hundred. <laughs> It's eight hundred by um, one hundred. <laughs> okay. Okay. Next. <clears throat> What about um what next, Guadalupe? Help me, please. <laughs> I don't know okay. nothing about those. <laughs> there don't mm. there are some topics that we say, hey, what's that? <laughs> Save the picture in there. Um in the computer uh, uh okay um picture <laughs> okay the picture it's the picture is sent yeah. to the customer yes but uh, I don't remember what's the participle of send. 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 T. With T. Mm -hmm. T, or T. Uh -huh. Okay. It's sent on time. The picture is sent on time. It's right very well. It's well done writing. On time. The picture is sent on time. Maybe. <clears throat> okay. One more, Guadalupe. One more. <laughs> one more. Um, the picture is uh, safe. Como guardar. Safe. Mm, so it's going to be here. In the computer was the picture no the picture is um, saved <clears throat> in the computer okay the picture is saved in the pc and then the picture is sent on time <clears throat> so that's it that's it Take a screenshot, uh, Guadalupe, and I'm gonna with mine to mine. <clears throat> okay, just did it. Yes, yes. okay. Well, let's start with mine. So, mine. Okay, number one, I'm going to work with the topic. Um, <clears throat> okay, I don't Hello. Poco, porque está hablando, pero no se oye. No, no se le escucha. Es que el internet está bien mal.
Maybe the microphone is not connected. No. The Pedrina no, no connects. Y hoy me escucho. Yes. ¿Qué es qué? Yes. <ríe> Ay, bueno. Sí, sí. Um, checking uh, the word, uh, Pedrina. Yes, I speak English. But the interesting is a student uh, think in English for speak English. And my mind is is working in Spanish, Spanish. And if uh, uh, if when I to 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 win to my 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 brain, I I learn English too much. Okay, but that moment we need to prepare the checklist and. And Carlos are a good student. <laughs> or maybe an me, okay. Yes, Carlos, a good, a good student. Yeah. Uh, he is the, <laughs> I, I don't know, he is the man. And because him to explain Let's let's moment to explain very good the the checklist and him use the different uh, vocabulary maybe include the okay uh, uh, really uh, uh, Carlos you uh, you speak very good about the checklist. What's Ignacio? Uh, pues, okay, so Guadalupe, Moses, and me to select you. For the... <laughs> <laughs> Ay, poner una mesa ah. 
Well, I don't know. I don't know. They are. Hmm. For example. Reserve, reservate, no, reserve, reserve. No, with an S, S E R V E, E. Excellent. Como de la disposición. De, de disposición. De, What do you mean disposición? Mean availability. Availability. Uh, free, I mean, free time that the person has, availability. Of the midroom. Okay. That's about the free time of... Of... I'm confused each. The free time of the metro. Uh, then to oh to availability to ask about the availability of the meeting room. Meeting room. Pay la bill, a pay a a a a a a a a a a a Excellent. I love the of the meeting room of the meeting room availability of the meeting room meeting room And 
the meeting. And I don't know. The the last one, Albert. <laughs> okay. Um, you pay the pay <laughs> uh, the pay I don't know. maybe maybe you clean when you uh, finish the meeting and you close the door to the, <laughs> the ah. lock lock the door to the meeting no. In the meeting. Uh, to the meeting. Love the dog to the meeting. Or of the meeting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to the meeting. Room. Meeting room. Uh -huh. Meeting room. Yeah, meeting. All right. You're done. Norbert, do you have all? Excuse me? Have the, the screenshot or? Yes, screenshot. Right. Excuse me. The four. Mm. The next, the next, the next. Mm. Okay, thank you. Okay. Very fine. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> Okay, now most people are present, okay? Now most people have come out. Please report your checklists. Volunteer to start. Hello, teacher. Hello, my friend. Okay, you want to start. Excellent. Okay. You may In be- In this case, it's a checklist for a people that uh, will operate a machine. Uh, the people, they have a security implement. Uh, for example, the checklist is have a helmet, yes or no? Have a anti coat gloves, yes or no? Have a face mask, yes or no? Uh, have air plugs, yes or no? Uh, how, yes, air plugs. Uh, if the people don't have one of any implements, they don't uh, operate the machine. 
because don't have the certificate to security uh, operate. This is the checklist. Excellent. Do you have another one? Uh, the another is the uh, procedures for operate the machine. Okay, tell us. Okay, this is the uh, how to use a machine safely. First, remove all objects that don't use to work in this machine. After that, check the switch and electrical connection of machine. Next, turn on the machine safely. Finally, use the machine safely. Okay, excellent, thank you. Thank you, Carlos Alberto, very good, thanks. Who would like to be another volunteer? Who would like to volunteer for, to be next? Me, teacher. Thank you, Rudy. So my first one is about the creation of my classroom. Organize, uh, organize the classroom library and sit in area. Create interactive bulletin boards and learning centers. Decorate your front door entrance and the last one post, post student schedule, calendar, and launch menu. Thank you, Rudy. That is the first one. And the second? Mm -hmm. And the, the second one is about bite test. Uses a uh, start vehicle, vehicles properly, stop vehicle in proper location and check ahead before passing. Thank you, thank you very much. Let's see, nice, very nice. The next one, another volunteer. Don't go too much. Ah, okay, Cari, go ahead, Cari, tell us. Okay, the prevention of accident and safety, okay. Always use an overprotection mask uh, to apply alcohol gel, take the temperature, uh, keep the distance, and to wear a protection uniform. And the second is to reserve a meeting room to ask about the uh, enable liberty to meeting room, uh, to send an email, to receive it, to clean before to start a meeting, to, to clean when you finish the meeting and look at the door to the meeting room. Okay, lock the door to the meeting room. Okay, very good, thank you. Nice, that's number one. That's it, right? I know because the first was, no. Uh -huh. Protocols, uh huh. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. yeah, you have the two. Thank you. Thank you, Kat. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, the next one who would like to be the next one? Maybe Don Jose Ignacio? Okay, my, my checklist is is necessary after to start the drilling machine. Uh, first, the operator need to use the EPP, you know, and the first him, mm -hmm. you know, um, and the him is necessary to start to use the safety helmet because the because the the drilling machine have a um a tower or tower a tall tower in up maybe to 
to Bull down the different object. In second, they all the team, the drilling machine is necessary to use anti cut glue because the 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 team move the cables and the metals different metal may big knife you know and the three is necessary to use here flows because yeah. the sound of the engine the drilling machine is Wait. maybe is maybe most 100 decibels decibel yeah mm -hmm. maybe more 100 uh, decibel and next um, they can do it uh the work is my my, my little checklist okay that is one. Do you have another? Or only one? What, what teacher? <laughs> no. Okay, some people, well, all of the people were supposed to make two checklists. But if you have only one, no problem. Nobody dies. Okay. Nobody dies. All right. Thank you very much. Who else would like to present his or her checklist? For example, in my case, in my work. Thank you, Renee. Uh, we have a, a checklist. Uh, for example, the first, when I attend the, the, the customer, I need to meet. Uh, hello, my name is Renee Bonilla, and, and I will help you. Then, and I. I, uh, I, I, I ask for, I, I, I ask for the, for document and I write the information, the customer in my report and check, then I check the, the, the car and I check the, it, it, it damage and then I go to the I I go to the my office and write the report on the computer and uh, uh, check the my report if the if the uh, my report is good I send the I send the information uh, uh, insurance company and then I put cost costs the in 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 the in the in the computer, the cost, the el costo de la, de, del servicio. Cost of cost the, the service. Cost of the, cost of the service. Cost of the, the, all the, my checklist about my work. Okay. Excellent, René. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay. Somebody else? Guadalupe, what about you? Hi, teacher. Hello, my friend. Do you have... Okay. My first checklist is a supervising procedure, procedure? About, procedure the about cloud. Mm -hmm. uh, use use uh, the mono, monofilm sewing thread that will hurt customer skin. Correct language for fever content. Permanent falling market or uh, label. Okay. Uh, it's falling. It is falling totally. My second list is for picture picture for approval. Uh, adequate camera and it is used. The resolute resolution. The resolution. Resolution is uh, eighteen percent by one hundred percent. The picture is saved in the PC, uh -huh. and the the picture is sent 
of time. Okay. Is that it? That's it. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Somebody else? I heard someone, but okay. Thank you, Ricardo. Tell us. Hello. Yes. Uh, Improvise. Uh, uh, we're uh, checking uh, customer. Uh, my uh, my boss um, checking the uh, customer uh, usual the mass. Uh, usual the the alcohol gel. Um, is they a uh, a people? Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, clean uh, a hand. Yeah, sanitize. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, no sé cómo se le dice aglomeraciones. Sorry. No sé cómo se le puede decir. Uh, aglomeraciones de personas. Ah, crowds, crowds. Ah, okay, okay. No, no crowds. Uh, people. Yes. Yes. Uh, number two. Uh, procedure. Uh, procedure. Uh, in this uh, start. Uh, a war. Uh, start the the cleans. Uh, feel feel clean area the work yeah uh, next a uh, a uh, work a uh, oh, installation a uh, product mm -hmm. yes a uh, ordens a uh, 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 accessory the the car uh, finally clean a uh, Clean y um, sanity the, the, the area the car. Sanitize the. Uh, yes, yes. Y finally, entrega, no sé cómo que se dice. Eh, eh, no, se, me olvidó, se me ha ido. Delivery. Ah, no, no, no sería que sea delivery, sino que en el momento así cerca de él. Ah, ok. Ajá, de... como que yo le entrego una, un objeto. Ah, hand in. Hand in. Ah, bye. Handing. Uh, handing, handing a client a uh, case, a uh, sign meeting. Okay. That's all. That's all. Okay. Thank you very much. That's very nice. All right. Does anybody else uh, want to describe his or her checklist to the pro procedure? To evaluate the procedure? Okay, okie dokie. Then I'm going to call roll. See, thank you very much for your participation. Okay. Uh, before, here I leave you some, some examples regarding making suggestions. First, wouldn't it be better in the two, in the two ways? Uh, wouldn't it be better to, be, uh, to first enforce the current goal? Would it need be better if we just went home? So we have the two. Would it need be better too? And would it need be better if? So teacher, you're not sharing. Let me see. I'm going to share it with you because no Mickey, right? <laughs> yeah. I guess not. <laughs> All right. Now, yes. Okay. I would say I was reading it to myself. Yes. So you have the two forms with if and with to, so that you may study this in your free time. Also, we have other expressions. Why not go to a Chinese restaurant instead? Wouldn't you prefer to stay home and relax? Or wouldn't it be good to have a place we could call home, etc.? So we have different, different uh, forms, okay. Now, this is for you to read in your house and to study. I'm going to call roll right now so that you don't go, that you don't go to, to do the exam and 
Well, yesterday you did the, the midterm, right? Okay. If you haven't done it tonight, you can still do it. And also, um, uh, it's nice if you did it yesterday. So you have to go and do the homework, tonight's homework. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to check. Check, attend, uh, take the attendance. Tell me Carranza de Guzman. Present teacher. Excellent. Brian Odir Perez Araujo. Present. Excellent. Very good. Carlos Alberto Bautista. Present teacher. Nice, very good. Danny Anthony Siguenza Ventura. Okay, let's see. Danis Adalberto Fuentes. Dolores Saraí Molina. Present teacher. Excellent. Eduardo Ernesto Hernández Molina. Okay. Eduardo didn't come today, right? Somebody, somebody answer for Eduardo. Okay. Well, let's see. Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez. Yes. Present teacher. Excellent. Jacqueline Melissa Delgadillo. Present teacher. Excellent. Jose Ignacio Franco. Present teacher. Nice, very good. Jose Norberto Velasquez. Present teacher. Very good. Karina Elizabeth Villeda Sanchez. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Marvin Alexander Bonilla Herrera. Moises Eduardo Rivas Galicia. Present teacher. Okay. Nice. Nelson Ivan Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Eh, Pedrina Iliana Gómez. René Osvaldo Bonilla. Present teacher. Nice. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Present teacher. Okay, very good. And uh, Rudy Josue Flores. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Very good, my friends. Okay. Let's see. Tonight is the 22nd. Okay, Nelson Ivan Hernandez stays with me too. Okay. Nelson Hernandez. Yeah. Please. Hi. Okay. So will you stay, my friend? This is optional. If you want, you stay. If you don't want, no problem. Nobody dies. Okay. Good night, teacher. Hmm? Good night, my Good friend. Night. Okay. Yes. All right. Very good. Now, as for the other people, thank you very much for joining tonight. Please do your homework. Finish the necessary things. Like if you haven't done your midterm, do it tonight, okay? If you did it, congratulations, excellent. Tomorrow I'm going to be uploading the grades according to the platform. So if you have any pending homework, homework that you didn't do, please do it, okay? Do it if you haven't done it, okay? So that uh, it is reflected in the new grade that I upload, okay? So thank you very much for attending. Good night, everyone.
See you on Monday. Have a nice week. Okay. Bye bye. Uh, thank See you, you teacher. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 Cari, take care. Bye, Don Ignacio. Be bye, good. Bye, teacher. Bye. Sleep, sleep well. Take yeah, care. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Yes. Bye, Jacqueline. Good night. Okay. Don Nelson. What questions do you have? How can I help you? Uh -huh. 